Okay, so just before we get started in today's video, a little disclaimer. Uh, any concrete that us as concrete pumpers have added sugar to, Coca-Cola, Mountain Dew, white sugar, brown sugar, whatever your preference, um, it is essentially garbage. We do not use it anywhere structural, finished, anywhere permanent. Without giving too much away, regardless of the results of today's video, um, anything that we have doped up with sugar is essentially garbage and should be treated as such. Now that being said, let's get into today's video. I think you're gonna find the results of this one very interesting. All right, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. Today I'm excited. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a very long time and finally all the pieces fell in place to produce said video. What we got? We got a can of Coke, we got a hopper full of old concrete, and we got a couple of, uh, what do they call these? Cylinders, test cylinders, that's what we got. One is marked no Coke, one is marked Coke. So what I'm gonna do here, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill the first one here with au naturel concrete. Nothing been added to it. It's pretty old, it's about four hours old now. So I'll take our first sample here. I don't have an actual official tester's rotting tool, but I do have Mother Nature's rotting tool. What's the spec on this? It's like 25 times. You gotta poke it 25 times. No more, no less, something like that. I don't know, I lost count. It's about 25. And now we'll top the sides. Like so. We'll level it off. Unfortunately, I don't have any caps for these, so I'm going to get innovative here. There we go, there's your official test sample. I think this meets uh, ACI or whatever the organization is. Probably doesn't meet exact standards. But you get the point. Okay, step two. Step two is, we're gonna cycle a can of Coca-Cola in the hopper. This stuff's pretty dry. You'll see as the Coke mixes in, how much it brings the slump up just from this little bit of, uh, little bit of liquid. Something like that. We'll take a few strokes and then dump the rest in. Put the rest of our coke in. There we go, one full can of Coca-Cola. it up all right so we are all mixed in there coke has been mixed around for about five minutes and we'll fill our other test cylinder here i can get it in the cylinder not on and around the cylinder would be great Not pretty, but effective. So I'll cap this cylinder off now, the same as I did the other one. Until you rot it, of course. About like so. Pop 
couple taps on the side level it off very nice all right we've taken our samples here we've taken our cylinders we've got with coke we got no coke we got the mix code the slump the date uh, like I said, this was some older mud. It was starting to go, uh, so a really good test. So one can of Coca-Cola cycled in the hopper. Now, the reason I'm doing this, as I posted videos before, um, with where I've added sugar to the hopper, and people say that uh, sugar doesn't kill the concrete, it just slows it down. 100% false. I'm doing this so that we can show in a lab that adding Coke to concrete wrecks it forever. After 28 days, which is the testing period, or the curing period, you're going to see that this is going to have way less strength. This is going to test out with a 32 MPA. I bet it tests out at 35. This is a 32. I bet with the coconut, it tests out somewhere around 5 MPA. We will see. But the whole premise here, the whole point is sugar is never, ever, ever intended to be used as a retarder. If you're going to use the concrete, you're not going to be putting sugar in it. You can't do it. Use something like a delay set, a Delvo, whatever it may be. Uh, but the minute you put sugar in concrete, it's garbage. You cannot travel to another job, skim it in somebody's patio, whatever. Uh, it permanently affects the strength and structural integrity of the concrete. So sugar is a big no, 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 unless you got somewhere to pump the concrete out or you're going to go wash out. So we'll check back in on this in 28 days when the, uh, when the tests are done and, and we'll see what the results are. But I'm pretty confident I know what they're going to be. And we're going to prove that you cannot add sugar to concrete and reuse it ever, 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 ever. So stay tuned for the results. I'm pretty excited to see, uh, to see what we come up with here. So were you guys as surprised by those results as I was? I was not expecting that. I have never been so wrong in my prediction, prediction and so, so spoken with so much conviction about something I would be proven completely wrong about. So I guess this is the lesson. Just because you've been pumping concrete for 25 years, 25 plus years, doesn't mean that you can't learn something new. I guess I should have, uh, I should have listened to all those engineer types that were giving me an earful on the, uh, mostly on the Instagram and TikTok platforms. But yeah, I was completely 100% absolutely wrong and have been proven wrong. So yeah, that's where we stand. And once again, don't put Coca-Cola in concrete and then go pump it into somebody's pour. Regardless of the outcome of this video, do not, do not, do not do it. Please and thank you. Over and out, keep on pumping, catch you on the next one.